Hey everyone, this is Android Cemetery, and this is just a quick tutorial on how to use the screw modifier in Blender. So first I'm just going to select all these, delete them, and I'm going to add in an image. So I'm just going to use this image over here. And I want to clear the transforms for this image so it's in the center. So I'm going to click it, Alt G, so it's in the center, and then Alt R to clear the transforms for the rotation. So now I'm just going to rotate it on the x-axis, so Rx and then 9, 0, and then just move it up, GZ, to around about here. So now I just want to add a vertice at this center point here, and then extrude it all along up until here. So Shift A, Mesh, add a plane, tab to go into edit mode, press 1 to select vertices, A to select them all, M, and then I want to merge it at the center. So it's a bit hard to see, but there's actually a vertice over here. And now I just want to go into front mode, so one on the numpad, and with the vertice selected, up here you can select the plane, because that's a vertice. Just press E, and then X, to extrude it out on the X axis, EZ, to move it up. And now with this vertice selected, I'm just going to extrude it up, and follow these lines over here. So wherever there's a curve change, I'm going to add a vertice. So I'm going to add one there, E, to extrude, add one over here. Add one over here. And we're just going to add one just along these areas over here. I'm not trying to make it perfect for the time being. Because we're going to go back and we're going to bevel these vertices so it's curved. Okay, so once we're up here, just want to go back and I want to turn snapping to vertex. I want to select this vertice up here, E to extrude, extrude it in the X, and I want to snap it to this vertice over here. So I'm going to hold down control, hover over this vertice, and then left click, and then just select these two vertices, press F to create a connection, press 2 to go to edge select, press A to select everything, and then press F to fill it in. So now I'm going to go Alt-Z to go into X-ray mode. I want to go into vertices. And now I want to bevel all of these vertices. So I'm going to select these two. Control-Shift-B. And on my scroll wheel, I'm just going to move it up. And that's going to add some more vertices. Control-Shift-B. And just add vertices along all of these edges. There are some edges where you don't need a lot of vertices, so you can scroll down to add less vertices, like around in these areas. And then some areas like this where, where you would want to add some more. So Control shift b and add some more by, by scrolling up on the scroll wheel. Okay, so once we're finished with that, we can adjust some of these vertices to make it match the reference image a lot better. And for that, you would want the proportional editing turned on. So press O on the keyboard, go into the fall off menu over here, and turn on sphere. Select this vertice, press G, X to move it in, and move up and down on your scroll wheel to adjust the fall off area. So I only want these vertices to be affected so I'm going to make the fall off somewhere around here. GX, I'm going to lower the fall off just so it's not affecting vertices that I don't want affected. GX again. Let's move it in. It doesn't have to be too perfect. Might lower this one. So. GZ, something like that. 
might select this edge, right click, subdivide, and that'll add a vertice in the middle. GX, GZ, Control Shift B, to add some vertices. Just so it's something like that. Okay, so now I'm gonna press Tab to get out of edit mode. I'm gonna select this background image. I'm gonna press H just to hide it because I don't need it anymore. I'm gonna select this mesh, go into modifier menu, add modifier, and I'm gonna add a screw modifier. Okay, so I think that turned out pretty good. I'm gonna select the mesh, right click, shade smooth, and just go into object edit properties, normals, turn on auto smooth, back to the modifiers. So this mesh is essentially being rotated in a 360 degree angle. If we change the angle to 180, you can see that now it's only half with that mesh. And this could probably work for something if you want to mount it on a wall, but we want it to be 360 degrees. So just as a demonstration, I can also change the offset and the z-axis. So if I scroll this up, you can see that it's rotating, but it's rotating up. And then if I want to create an actual screw, I can just add some more iterations. So if I add six, you can see that now I've got an actual screw effect. So we don't really need any of these for this kind of project. So right now this is actually being rotated in the Z axis. You can change the axis if you want, but uh, usually I just stick with Z. So also something to keep in mind is the, is the screw modifier is essentially rotating around the origin point of the mesh. So say if I was going to press shift, right click to move the 3D cursor over here. If I select the mesh, right click, set origin to 3D cursor, you can see that the screw modifier is rotating around where the origin of the mesh is. So we've got this kind of crazy shape over here. It looks almost like a Greek pillar. So just keep in mind uh, where the origin point of the mesh is. So I'm just gonna control Z that, and then shift S cursor to world origin. If you move up here, you can see that it can be pretty low resolution. You can adjust that over here. So in the viewport, if I change this to 20, 24, you can see that it's added more resolution to the model. You can also adjust it if you plan on doing a render on it. So what it's gonna look like when you do a render. You also wanna make sure to turn merge on. Uh, so that way the vertices that you start off with are merged with the vertices at the end point. It's not a big deal if you don't have that turned on. Just as a demonstration, if I actually apply, tab, press A, press M and then merge by distance. You can see right here, I removed 46 vertices. So essentially, if you merge in this screw menu, it just saves you having to do that step. These settings I don't really use, so we're just gonna leave it. So if I press tab to go to edit mode, the really cool thing about this modifier is before you apply it, you can modify it as much as you want. So if I turn on proportional editing with the O key, select this vertice, G to move, X to move in the X axis, I can continue to modify the mesh. So if I wanna add something like that, just make sure that you move it on the x-axis. So just remember to press G and X to move it on the x-axis. And you can continue to modify this mesh before you apply. So already you can create some pretty cool looking shapes. Just got control Z then. So say you wanna create something like the inside of a wine glass. It's pretty simple once you've created the initial mesh. So press K for the knife tool and just go around and create the inside of the edge, similar to what we did in the beginning, only this time for the inside. You can just go something like this, and then enter. And same thing, Control Shift B. Go up on scroll wheel to add more segments. And I'm just gonna adjust these quickly, just for the demonstration. So something like that. Three to go in face mode, select this face. X, delete face. Now select the mesh, modifier, add modifier, screw. And now you can see we've got the hollowed out inside of a wine glass. So the screw modifier can be a really great tool for creating cylindrical objects, especially with a lot of detail. I hope this tutorial helped and I'll see you guys next time.